Oh, linens, bedding, what sizes, what should I buy, what matters, how do I store it? I feel you, there are so many things to think about when it comes to the thing that you're really selling, right? As a good night's sleep in between some sheets, then they've gotta take a shower. This stuff matters. So we're gonna share with you our favorite tips and tricks about storage, about linen selection, and how to make it really simple. This will definitely be the number one thing that you talk about, think about, all day, every day is laundry and linens. Mm. We've learned so much. Let us help you with some of these tips. Number one, if you have, let's say you might have a full bed, a queen bed, a king bed. There are some hacks here that you can do by ordering some of the same things. What can they do here, Sarah? Well, first of all, you can help yourself by hopefully not having that many bed varieties <laughs> in your property. Right. So if you think that, if you think guests are going to be like, oh, I want the kids to stay in this room and the parent, like, no, just get all the same size. The beds more you can. get the same size beds, the better. That being said, if you have to have some twins and some queens and kings, just skip the full. Like, why? Full? What is a what full? Is a full actually? Actually, and still why? Can't, is a full a queen? Like, a full? No, it's not. And okay. it's annoying. All right. Anyway, <laughs> with the queen bed and the king bed, what we do, especially with like the, the overall blanket, whether you do it like a duvet or a blanket, Quilt, is just okay. get the king size. Just mm -hmm. have one size. And then you could use, you could do the, um, the method where they use a flat sheet to encase the mattress and then still do a king um, sheet to cover the queen bed. You could do that just to simplify all the sheets in the property. Obviously twin, you'll need twin, um, but at the very least get the large size blanket and then you could do queen fitted and flat because that bothers me. I'm a, I want my queens to look tight so I have the queen fitted sheet and the right. queen flat sheet. And then the next thing, and we've all tried it, you might do this yourself, we get like those lower cost sheets you need to make sure you're investing in quality here because you're going to see it's the drying time. Yeah. It's the wrinkles. This is something that really sets you Ease apart. Ease of when removing we, stains. Yeah. But I get you. Gonna, you. Yeah. We, we do, I've done We've it. We've done it. I bought the Ikea sheets. I bought the Amazon sheets. We now buy standard textile. But that was, over time, a lot of lessons learned, a lot of sheets thrown away. You, you know, we just go through them very often. But... Number three, let's say you don't have the convenience of having one bed size for the property. I like to take a fabric mm -hmm. marker and put it on a large thread or whatever you call it on the wall and mark the tags where you get the sheets in if they aren't already marked. If you're not getting hospitality made linens right. that have like the color coded thread or on the tag, if you get your bedding from Amazon, it likely won't tell you on the tag what size it is. You're going to be in this nightmare. Is it a king? Is it a queen? So just when you get it, take out the packaging, use a fabric marker, put in the tag before you throw it in the wash to wash it before your guests use it for the first time. I thought of some more tips for you because this is, I, I know this is a stressor for people and I've learned so much. Okay. More tips for storing your linens. You could create like packages for yourself where you take as many pillowcases as you need, fitted, flats, duvets, blankets, whatever you got, all the sizes that you need and encompass it within like the flat sheet. So when you pull it out of your linen closet, it's all ready to go. Labeling is great on your shelves. I know we, we listen, most of these houses that we're in weren't built to be hospitality spaces. So you got to do what you got to do. Having a label maker with, um, with tape with that big print is super helpful. If you have the space for it, if you're a co-host for a larger building, something we've also done is buying large garbage cans on wheels and labeling them king, queen, twin. So when you are taking stripping beds and you have laundry that you're either going to send out to a laundry service or your team is doing in-house over time, you can keep it all organized. So just Take some of these tips, make them your own, stay organized ahead of time, whether it's labeling your tags, keeping them organized when they're dirty, making sure they're in a safe, dry space. Oh, my last tip, especially if you've got a house and you're using a closet, resist putting them in plastic containers with lids because if they're not fully dry, they're going to grow mold. So either drill holes in your containers, leave the lids out, just put them on shelves, but just tip for you. Been there, done that. Let's do hosting hot tip, Costco hosting hot tip. Mm -hmm. 
Just let me live. The hot tips, Kurt. Tip number four. Number four tip. I have more tips.